So can I tell you guys a story? I was in a mom group. That's like problem number one of the whole thing. It was one of those like you saw this post on Facebook and then you like close the app and then the next time you open the app, they like pull up the same group thinking you wanna see more of this group, which is in fact not true. I'm gonna floss while we talk if that's okay. It's important to take care of your gums. I am in this group and there's a mom who posts about how she can't get her like four to six month old to go to sleep and she just like can't bring herself to cry it out and you know all these like normal things that all of us moms think about and talk about and experience i don't even know i don't remember i don't even know if i read the post to see if she talked to her pediatrician or what but of course she goes to her mom group to because of course that's where all valuable answers are in parenting Duh. then another mom comments and she's like i co-slept with all four of my children and i'm sure it kind of ended in like they all turned out fine or like I didn't regret it or something like that. Here is the thing that drives me like bonkers. If something happens to this woman's child, guess what happens to the lady who had four kids and co-slept? Nothing, nothing. She may not even know. She won't even remember giving this advice. She holds no liability, no responsibility whatsoever. Her life is not impacted by anything that happens to this child that she's never met and she's just randomly commenting and giving Facebook advice on. Words matter. Medical advice matters. Parenting advice matters. Your sources matter. Just because someone's kids did okay with it, do not let that survival bias play games and chances with your child's life. Don't, whether it comes to my kid's thrush went away without antifungal. Or my child's lip tie got clipped and everything got better. Or my kid went to a chiropractor and could poop more easily and became a unicorn. Cool, good for you. That is all survival bias. Think about that next time you take the advice of somebody on the internet that has no bearing or relation or anything to your child and your child's medical health. There's zero accountability on that end. And that's what makes it the scariest and most frustrating thing of all.